Hi everyone, I'm Suhan from Uncle Sally's project. So I have a little project that just came about to replace a oil seal on my bicycle's fork suspension. So I recently found that there is a leak coming out from the edges of the seal. It looks like it's time to do a servicing of the fork. So it actually is an old Mazoki 2002 MXC air fork. I'm going to show you um, the problem. After that, we will take the fork apart from the bicycle. Then we are going to do a strip and replace the seal, clean it up, probably change the oil. Then we put it back together and hopefully uh, be able to fix the issue. And yeah, let's uh, check it out. So this is the left suspension of the Mazuki fork apparently the um the spring which is actually gripping the edge is also gone on the other side you can actually still, still see the spring and on this side i think this is probably already worn out side i'm going to use this opportunity to strip this whole Mazuki fork apart and replace the oil and also the bushings um, if necessary this is the Mazuki 2002 mxc this is the problem here so what i'm going to do is going to give it a physical clean this is what is advised by the experts online to actually give the whole fork a clean before we carry out any maintenance or repair so we're going to spray isopropyl alcohol all around and wipe down get you all the grease and clean up a little bit before we actually um, remove the air then we will pour out the oil so we just wipe down make sure there's no grease or sand which might eventually end up inside the, the lower portion of the fork it says here vinegar and water but it's not okay it's actually isopropyl alcohol in there So it looks like it's all wiped well and we can begin our disassembly of this fork for this fork what we need to do is to open the cap okay so to assess where the shredder air valve is this two so what we're going to do is we're going to release all the air by using a little tool you can just press be careful there's oil spraying out so actually as you press you can see the the um, suspension actually retracts because of the air pressure is now being released when the air pressure is released you can actually use your hands and literally move the, the lowest of the fork you can press this again reduce the air further so that's a step to remove the pressure from the two air valves okay, now we need to take off the two gas and chamber caps here so we're going to use a 21 mm ratchet socket so we're going to remove it loosen it then similarly on the other side Now that we have loosened the caps with the socket spanner, we will remove one first by hand and we can pour out the oil from one side of the fork first. We will pour out the oil into a container. Then after that, we will remove the second cap and pour it out so that we empty both sides of the suspension. Carefully pour out the oil into our container. You can press the suspension fully inwards just to make sure all the oil is out. Now we can remove by hand the other side of the cap. Okay. 
MT the oil on the other side. Okay. So at this point of time, both sides of the fox is now clear of the oil. We will take a rag and we will wipe out, wipe away the excess of the oil. Then we can work on to loosen the other end to take off this lowers of the fork. What I've done here is actually to stuff some tissue rag onto the opening so that when we work on this bottom section to remove the nuts in there on the left and on the right as shown okay we can then not have oil flowing onto the table from the other side so you just remove this oil now we're going to remove these two nuts at the bottom of the two lower parts of the fork I have a ratchet set here we're going to remove these two and using the other side Now we can try to pull it out and we have the two nuts. So these are the two nuts at the bottom. We have to take out after you take out the lowest of the fork. We take a rack and clean out the sentience. So it looks like everything is still okay. So we just wipe clean and we put it aside. Our goal is to actually replace the seal. So now I'm going to remove the oil. Just clean whatever oil is there and check the seal for any cracks or dirt. This is on the other side of the lowest where the dust seal spring is still intact. So to remove this, basically just need to pull out the spring, put it aside using the flat screwdriver. You will go to the second inner groove like this and firmly pry out the dust seal. Okay, so the dust seal is out, then we can see the retaining clip, this silver looking piece. So you just use the screwdriver. Can remove the retaining clip then finally you can see the oil seal inside as shown this is the right side of the fork which has the leak problem so it does not have a spring the spring is already missing the spring which goes around the um, dust seal so what we're going to do is going to put the screwdriver on the second groove and you just pry this out like that so you'll see a retaining spring in there. You will put this with a flat screwdriver, pull out the retaining spring and put aside. Now that both the dust cover and the retaining spring has been removed, we can now remove the oil seal. So since I'm already removing all the parts out of this lowers, I'm going to change both oil seal together at the same time. To remove the oil seal, you'll use a flat screwdriver. You just Position it right at the bottom of the oil seal. Be careful not to get in contact with the pilot bushing which is inside this piece. We will just go underneath the oil seal. There's actually a round washer. We just place the flat screwdriver right above the washer below the oil seal and you give it a firm pull lever up as shown and the oil seal can now be removed. So similarly, we'll do it for the other side. We position the flat screwdriver underneath the oil seal and we give it a firm push upwards. So now the oil seal is out. So now both oil seal is out. 
can actually see the washer this is actually a washer here and there's another washer on the other side so at this stage we are not um, planning to change the pilot bushing which is this piece inside so because everything is still okay and we check inside there's no um, major um, scratches there are some scratches because probably from the old servicing they might have scratched it with a screwdriver we've, we've cleaned it we've cleaned up use isopropyl alcohol clean inside with a long wooden stick with a rag we just need to clean up the edges here to make sure there's no sand or grit after which we will replace it with the new oil seal based on what we have here the oil seal is a marzocchi original oil seal and the size of this oil seal is 30 millimeters on the inside diameter 40 millimeters on the exterior diameter and also there should be one more number which is basically the thickness if you look at on the second seal this this one has been squished by the spring so we have a 30 40 and 8 millimeter thick um, oil seal so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, order this part and get a replacement part for this oil seal as i was uh, missing one spring on the dust cover and um, in order for us to replace the dust cover i'll need ones with a spring so i've actually looked on the internet to look for a replacement dust cover for this exact size however i wasn't able to find a good replacement for this mazoki um, shockers so i decided to actually do a 3d print of this um, part itself so uh, we have what we have done is we have taken the measurements and we actually um, design a replacement dust cover um, of which then we will need a spring to actually um, place on the uh, inner portion of this um, wiper so in order for us to get spring which is not easily available what we're going to do we will be recycling the old seal this is the oil seal the original oil seal that was removed from the bike sorry from the uh, suspension so on all these seals they actually spring on the inner part of it see this so this is the top this is the bottom you need to just flick the inner wiper and you can actually see a spring so what we're going to do is going to recycle this spring we can remove this spring because this spring diameter is about the diameter of the um, dust cover so we're going to um, take this spring out from the old seal so that we can reuse it to help us um, uh, to be placed on the dust seal which is going to be at the top so i'm going to also remove the second spring from the older oil seal you will pull this out then we will remove this now we have two spare springs so this spring can be recycled to be used on the wiper so on the 3d printed part now we can take the spring and reuse it like that okay so this will give some additional compression onto the wiper so that this will keep the dust out from the stanchion with the oil seal and dust seal removed while we wait for the arrival of the seal that we've ordered we're going to clean up the top section here of the lowest removing any grimes or sand we will remove the washer and clean away any sand or dirt which might have got in there throughout its life we're just going to give it a good wipe so just make sure everything is okay then we will clean on the other side similarly we'll take out the washer okay 
Okay, so both sides are clean. We'll now give the inner part of the lowest a clean. So you're going to use a wooden non-abrasive stick. So you have a cloth. You will fold the cloth in half like this. Fold it again. Then we will roll the cloth. Then we apply some isopropyl alcohol. Then we will take the lowest and we will um, give it a clean. Okay. So carefully just rub around, clean to remove any debris or sand that might have dropped in while we were removing the dust seal and the oil seal. Okay, we check everything is okay, it's clean. Similarly on the other side, you wipe clean. check everything is good so once both sides are clean we can now put back the washer and once the, the oil seal arrives we will proceed on reassembling the doors